here we go. So I'm going to uh, walk you through on my own ABG mix. Um, here's all my parts. That's how you really make it, but I'm making up for the tree fern. So I'm just adding some extra parts of certain stuff for my uh, tree fern. Because I don't have any of that, and you can't find it really at any local places. You can order it, I'm sure, but I think it's pretty pricey. Um, and I guess it's getting harder to find, but I'm just, I should have probably waited a little longer for this, but this is the cocoa fiber, cocoa, I got cocoa husk too, just it all dried out and broken up. Same stuff, just has, um, bigger clumps in it, which I'll use. But I just started soaking this stuff, and it's not even ready. But let's get to this. All right. So we're going to do one and a half parts of uh, charcoal or carbon. And a half parts of charcoal or carbon. For my parts, I'm just using uh, solo cups. There goes one. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't do that on the book. <laughs> uh, one and a half, I said, right? Oh, here comes the dog. I don't want him breathing in the carbon. Come on, man, go away. That looks like a half. Alright, there's my one and a half carbon. Sphagnum moss. Some uh, orchid stuff, sphagnum moss. I'm just measuring by hand with that stuff. It's kind of messy. It's usually one handful anyways. A little extra. My little plant is falling out. I don't even know what this is. It was a freebie at uh, Home Depot. It was on the ground. It had roots so I grabbed it. Stuck in the plant that I bought. It's falling out of there. Alright, orchid bark. So when you get orchid bark, pretty sure all orchid barks don't, they don't put um, fertilizers in it. But make sure there's no fertilizers, you do not want that shit in your, your tank. This one had um, a mixture of uh, carbon and carbon and uh, the bark. It has a little bit of pyrolite, but pyrolite isn't bad. It's not going to do any harm to anybody. It's just pretty much like almost like glass from a volcano. The way it like forms, I guess, or something like that. I was I read up on it, to make sure it was all safe. Did I say one? Oh, uh, two and a half parts. Well, I'm running low on some fucking some stuff here. I mean, you can pick it out, or you can get it without it. 
I got this one because it had the carbon in it already. Two and a half, right? Keep forgetting. What the hell? They're running low, so handful is going to be my half. I'll do a little extra. There that is. Wow, I'm getting this book dirty. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the cocoa husk one because that stuff is nowhere near ready. Maybe I'll do one part of that. One part of this. One part. Let's see if I can get some of this. I think I can. Bear with me, guys. I'm doing this one handed. That's two and a half. All right, now peat moss. What I like to do is, because I use it for my plants and stuff anyways, we use it a lot during the summer. I just go and buy this um, giant bag of peat moss and it lasts forever. So it's really cheap, it's like 10 bucks, you get this huge ass bag. And I just go pick up a whole bunch of it because we'll use it in the summer for our plants, gardens, all that kind of stuff. That's why I decided to start making my own ABG mix. Fighting the dog over here. He's attacking a dead leaf. Get out of here, kid. You jabroni. One and a half. And I'm, I'm going to be doing another video of this stuff. And I'm going to be putting it on my topsoil a little bit as a layer. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it once we get to planting and stuff. So I figured I'd walk you through this whole tank that I'm doing. We're going to mix this up now. Alright, so I'm going to need this. We're going to need uh, this, which you're probably going to need a little more of. I got a giant bag of it too. I picked these up. You can get it. You get this giant bag right here. Well, smaller bag for 10 bucks any grow shop near you or anything like that hydroponic store or something um, just clay pebbles but you can get this stuff for ten bucks and then you can get this huge, huge bag of it for twenty bucks 
And like I said in one of my previous videos, uh, I like the way it looks a little bit. I always do like a uh, false bottom hidden inside. And then I, I decorate the ends with this. It just kind of looks nicer. But, so we're going to need this. We need this. Normally you want to rinse these out. Just get all the dust off. But, I'm going to pour it in slowly. I'm not too worried about it. So, here's the tank, guys. Um, let's see if I can grab a quick light real quick. Is that better? You tell me. <laughs> but, that's basically it. I'm going to be ordering my light soon. Uh, there's my waterfall. And, actually... I have to add stone in this before I can do this. I didn't think that through. So. It's been a couple of days now. Um, but. I can still kind of smell the silicone a little bit. So it's probably going to need more time. A lot more time. So I'm going to. Uh, Get my soil in there and everything. My lights are going to be coming in. Uh, get my drainage layer all set. Get my rocks in. And get my other branch in. Maybe get a couple plants in here. Let them start growing in. Because the silicone is not going to really affect them. It's just really the smell now. That I'm just trying to get rid of, but yeah, the smell is like one of the worst parts for like any reptile or amphibian. If you can still smell the silicone in there, don't put your reptile in there yet. Wait until that stuff's gone. Um, you can always hook it up with a fan for a while each day. Uh, takes a little while to get it out of there, but it'll go. It'll go. It's starting to go now, but pain in the ass. Yep. You know, you're always impatient for this stuff, but you gotta have patience, I guess. But all right, so I think I'm gonna get these rocks all set really quick. So I'm not gonna be able to do that one-handed. And. We'll pick up from there.